Geo Parks are people. They absolutely are. It's not about rocks, it's about you, it's about the people. Because the Geo Parks try to uh, make the community participation reach far beyond just involvement as stakeholders. It's about building community empowerment, community ownership, that sense of pride. Of course, you all know you come from a very special area, but we want you to tell the rest of the world that as well. And we want you to do that by taking ownership of the geopark, by getting involved in the geopark, by taking the op uh, listening to the opportunities and taking the opportunities this international label can, can bring here. Uh, we consider the residents of the geoparks really to be ambassadors, if you like, and many people in geoparks um, get involved, such as these ladies uh, from Portugal. They're, they were just uh, local people like yourselves who became involved in the geopark. Uh, they were given some training. They now, now act as geopark rangers, taking international visitors around their area, sharing not just the geological story, but also the story of their traditions, their heritage, the local tales, talking about handcrafts, talking about local dialects, architecture, all of these things, which all go back to the planet. They're all linked together. This is a group of uh, Quechua people. These are the pre-Inca people of the Andes. This is in the Imbabura UNESCO Global Geopark in Ecuador. And these people uh, in their culture have the concept of nature as Pachamama, so for them, there is no division between nature, between humans. Their interpretation of the volcanoes that surround them are that there are male volcanoes and female volcanoes. And who's to say they're wrong? We share those stories along with the scientific stories. And these people sell their crafts and talk about their stories. They bring people to stay with them and they make money. And that's the important thing. This is a, a school teacher from Toya Usu in northern Japan. Uh, the building behind her is a hospital that was destroyed in a paraclastic flow about 18 years ago. And again, she goes around to community groups, uh, local schools to explain uh, what happened and also to, war, to give them, tell, tell people what the warning signs of these things are because actually that eruption happened pretty much without warning. This is a geopark in the Copper Coast in County Waterford in Ireland. When I first visited this building, this was a derelict church, derelict uh, Church of Ireland building, been lying in ruins for maybe 60 or 70 years, no roof, nothing. Uh, through fundraising in the local community, they gathered enough funding to convert this building, and this is now the hub of a very, very active and dynamic community. They now have road signs on the motorway from Waterford to Cork, telling people to go to the Copper Coast Geopark. Our Prime Minister, our Taoiseach, has been down to visit them, to congratulate them. And if you're on their Facebook page, you'll see almost every week there are different activities happening in this building, which, because of the Geopark, the community thought, yeah, we can do this. We can really change this and make an improvement to people's lives.